In the previous videos, we've shown you how to add uh, administrative tasks to various paths throughout your website, uh, actually contextualizing these things and making them available where the content lives. In this video, we're going to change things up a little bit and show you how to actually add this same sort of tasks in a more monolithic administrative approach. Uh, sometimes both of these approaches are very viable, and uh, we're going to show you how you can accomplish that with Context Admin. Now, Context Admin is trying to make some things simple for you. From a development side, um, you can actually uh, do some of these things, um, but we, we wanted to make these things available to site builders, so that's kind of where Context Admin comes in here. So this is going to live at admin news, and uh, that'll actually put it up here once we add it to the right uh, menu system. Um, and context admin is going to make available for us uh, the exact same functionality that is being used to render all of these pages. So we'll set access controls and visible menu items on here, and keep going. So as a permission, just for this example, we're going to do it for anybody who has administer content. Then we're going to be in normal menu entry. And we want to put this in management. And I'm going to give it a, uh, a really negative weight. And this negative weight is actually going to place it um, much further up in this list. So the one we want to use here is um, an administrative section. And administrative sections don't have actually any sort of content settings. So we just hit finish, update and save. And you'll see we now have an administer news area. Right? So if we go ahead and click administer news, we don't actually have anything here. But this is going to render the exact same way that um, you know, well, actually, structure here renders you know this sort of a, a an approach. So uh, we already have most of our administration built because we've built it in all the other videos. I'm just going to clone it all out. So we have news add here, which we definitely want. So we'll go ahead and hit edit, hit clone, admin news add. For consistency's sake, we'll do all of this. Great. Now if we visit access, mm, chances are that's good enough for us. Menu, we're definitely going to want to change. This isn't a local action. Uh, we're going to want a normal menu entry. And we're going to want that in management. Go ahead and hit uh, update and save here. And now if we come over here to content um, and we create node of type news, that's exactly what we want. So we don't really need to do anything else here. I'm just going to hit update and save one more time just to make sure. And now if we come here to administer news, you'll see by virtue of the fact that we've put the pathing in properly, we have the ability to create news articles. So uh, this is actually pretty easy to do. We're going to go ahead and go in here and do this for a few other sections. Um, We'll do it for the news administration as well. Visit access on this stuff as well. Seems fine. And so what we're probably going to end up uh, doing is we're probably going to end up uh, just changing the menu type for every single one of these. And if I come in here and I just order these 0 through whatever, um, I should get exactly the order that I want on this stuff. So 
um, come on in here to administer news and you'll say we have create news, administer news. So definitely getting where we want to go. Um, we have our own uh, breadcrumbs built for us automatically. So this is very nice, very easy and straightforward to use. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can fill these items out a little further. So if we come into structure and visit menus, um, you'll see within management, if we list the links, we're going to have an administer news area. And so if we come on into uh, create news now, we can actually add a description if we'd like. So um, just going to go ahead and hit save on that. And now if we, had, if we uh, visit administer news again, you'll see that uh, the description I just added is there and it's available for us. Uh, so this stuff is uh, really pretty powerful. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pause the video. I'll finish populating uh, this uh, out. And then I'll let you take a look at the end result. area. Um, so if you had wanted to do admin config news, for example, if we had use for such a thing, um, that would also create one of these blocks here. So uh, hopefully you can find a good use case for this stuff. And uh, yeah, that's all.